So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at creating logos and icons like this, just using some of the simple tools in Illustrator on the iPad. The next uh, lessons that you're going to see come from our Udemy course. So have a look down the bottom for links to our course. Um, I think you'll really enjoy it. There's so many different bits and pieces that we do, and this is um, one of the first projects that we do in the course. Anyway, see what you think. This is the bit that I enjoy the most, doing the projects, because we can take everything that we've done and just put them into practice. And what we're going to be doing here are these eight little shapes. So basically there's four of them, the ones shapes. So basically ones and the ones below we'll call logos. And we're going to use the Pathfinder tool for a lot of that. So sit back, get ready and enjoy this. You'll love it. So I'm going to start off with the rocket and I'm going to click on create new. That's the bottom left hand corner. Create new in there. And I'm just going to choose one of these screen sizes. There's all sorts of web screen sizes. I'm going to choose the one that says 1024, web 1024. And that puts in 1024 pixels wide, 768 high. Doesn't sound like much, but remember all of this is fully scalable. So we can always scale it up later if we need more resolution. The color mode is RGB, so we get those nice bright colors, which I'll be explaining about later. And I'm going to click Create File in there. Now to make my rocket, I'm going to use Circles and the Pathfinder. So I'm going to start off with the elliptical tool. And I'm going to find a color for these. So I'm going to go with uh, red, I think. It's already nice bright red. For, that's for the fill. For the stroke, I'm going to choose none. So now, when I go and draw my shape, I get, oh, that's more pink than red. I get a little circle like that. Now I'm going to use two of these circles and then keep the overlapping area. You'll see what I mean in a second. But to make a copy of this circle, I'm going to hold down the secondary touch, that's the outer circle, and I'm just going to click and drag that across like so. You can see if I select both of those, I've got a shape between the two of them. Now I know it's difficult to see at the moment, but if I went up to the top right hand corner to view mode, then I can click outlines and you can see exactly how it looks. I will stay in preview mode because I want you to see how these things are working. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Pathfinder to get rid of the outer areas. I just want that overlapping area left. So I'll go to the Pathfinder here and I'm going to use the Intersect. That's the third one down in there. And to get rid of the lines around the outside, I'll just say Convert to Path. So there is the body of my rocket. If you don't like the shape, you can still pull it around. We can make it a little bit wider in there if you wish. Now for the legs in the bottom section, I'm going to do something very similar. I'm going to use an ellipse. And with this ellipse, I'm going to make a copy by dragging downwards. I've got two of them, one below the other. I'm going to select both of them. And then I'm going back to the Pathfinder. And this time with the Pathfinder, I'm going to use minus front. So minus front to get rid of the front one and then convert to path at the bottom to keep that shape in there. I'll pop that right over there. Now I'm going to select both of those and use the Pathfinder to then unite them together. So I'll just say combine all. And let's just make sure it's combined and convert to path as well. I'd like a window in the middle. So I'm going to go back to my ellipse draw another perfect circle. Now when I'm drawing the circle, I'm going to hold down my primary touch with my left hand, get the circle the right size. I'm going to put this on top of that. And you can see I know exactly when I'm in the middle because those little smart guides appear. Select both of them. And it's the Pathfinder again. So over to the Pathfinder in here. And I'm going to use minus front. Once again, we'll convert to path. And there's my rocket done. I'm going to hold out down the 
a primary touch so when I scale this it scales perfectly move it up to the corner and I'm ready for the next one let's go and have a go with one of my favorite shapes which is a car so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to use the elliptical tool but first of all let me pick a color and I'm going to go with a purple I see some purples down here in my um, swatches so I'm going to pick that purple make it a bit brighter and then I'm going to go across to my stroke and remove my stroke so I'm going to draw an ellipse in here and this is going to be for the top of the car so I want to cut the bottom off with a straight line so I'm going to use the rectangle and just click and drag a little line like that or a shape like that let's select them both and I'm going to go to the pathfinder and I'm going to use minus front then I'm going to go to convert to path and there's the the body of the car now to make the the roof I'm going to do something slightly different I'm going to use a rectangle and let's zoom in so you can see this clearly I'm going to take my direct selection tool and I'm going to select just one of those points and pull them across like that and then while I'm here because that point is selected I'm also going to click on that little circle in there and just pull it in to round it off ever so slightly the back of the car needs to be rounded a bit more so I'm going to select that and just pull that right in like that now back to my um, normal selection tool I'll move that into the right position but there select both of those go back to my pathfinder and I'm going to use combine all and convert to path so for my wheels I'm going to cut out some wheel arches first this is going to be really simple but I've got a technique in here that I want to mention I'm going to make a perfect circle so I'm holding down the little um, the middle primary touch and I'm going to pop one of those over there then I'm going to hold down the secondary touch and drag that to make a copy so I've got two shapes on there and if I select all three of those shapes when I go to the pathfinder and I choose minus front minus front will minus as many objects as you've got selected from the one right at the back so if you had 50 objects in there and you select them all it would minus all 49 from the 50th which is right on the bottom so I'm going to say minus front convert to path you see this is really simple now all I've got to do is make two wheels and I'll just make one little wheel like that and we'll pop that up there and then hold down the secondary touch to make another copy over there right it's coming on nicely I'm going to select those just make this a little bit smaller whilst holding down my primary touch and move that up into the right position have a go do a car do a whole bunch of cars lorries trucks planes anything you like but enjoy it so on to my whale now the whale is going to be done purely out of circles with one exception that's just going to be to cut one of the circles in half so I'm going to take my ellipse and for my whale um, I'm going to choose a blue I think it's a quite nice blue over there once again I'm doing fill no stroke and I'm going to draw my elliptical shape in here holding down primary touch to get a perfect circle now I want to cut that in half because the bottom half will be the body of the whale so I'm going to go over here to my rectangle draw my rectangle in up to the halfway point or thereabouts whatever works for you let's select both of those and then I'm going to go up to the pathfinder what do we do without the pathfinder minus front convert to path so there's the body of the whale now I want to do the tail and this is going to be interesting because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same sort of shape that we created for the rocket and make that into a tail watch this so I'm going to go with an ellipse draw a perfect ellipse in there and I'm going to make a copy of that so I'm going to hold down the 
secondary touch, pull that down until I've got the sort of overlapping shape in here. You'll see if I click up here to the outlines, you can see that's the shape that I'm kind of looking for. Maybe something which goes a little bit like that. Let's go back over here to view mode and back to preview mode. So if I select those, then I can use my pathfinder. I can use my intersect and convert to path. And this gives me the first part of the tail. Now I want another one of those going the other way. This is really easy because if I select that, then what I need to do is to go once again to on the right hand side of the um, of the software to the panels and I'm going to choose the align panel because the align panel's got a flip option in there. I don't want to flip that one, I want to flip a copy. So I'll just click on the copy button first and that duplicates it. Then I can go over here, Let's try that again, and I can flip that one over and I can just move that into the correct position over there. I think that's what I'm after. Maybe move it over a little bit more. Perfect. It needs a bit of a um, uh, fin on the side. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to make a copy again. And then I'll pull this one down. And there is its little side thing, whatever you call them. Um, and it really should have an eye. So I'm going to take a circle. Um, I'll use the same blue actually. Make a little circle there. I'm going to place that in there. So let's select those two and go once again to the Pathfinder. And I'm going to go down to minus front for the eye. There we go. There they are, all ready to go. I could take that and the side fin and just unite it together with the other shape, but it doesn't really have to be done. I'm going to hold down the primary touch and just scale this down to the size that I want. So once again, have a go with another shape like that.